Hey guys, sorry this video is taking so long to make, but it's finally done. Finally had some time to work on it. Um, because these past couple months have been crazy. I don't remember much from the hospital. I just know that it was terrible and I couldn't wait to get home. But everything happened so fast and we made a good bit of videos. I'm glad we did because I don't remember much of it. But, uh... Thanks for watching. So today we went and got her checkup on the 24 hour P, what is it called? The P test, I guess. The 24 hour P test and her blood pressure skyrocketed over 170. So now they're inducing her 37 weeks and three days. Yeah. We're so not ready for this. <laughs> How do you feel? Like crap. What do they got you hooked up to? I really don't know. Magnesium. 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 And they have me taking some pill to soften my cervix. But I'm feeling like cramps and stuff down there. Which they said is the start. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we got a 3D ultrasound done also, right before they told us about the induction. That was pretty pretty cool. That was pretty cool to see. Maybe. Preview, Holy. <laughs> see you. Ow. How long have you been in here? Eleven or twelve. It's been about five, five hours. hours. And you've been. Hooked up and getting juiced up the whole time. Mm -hmm. How what's your blood pressure at now? It was like 120 something over like 80 something last time I was checked, which is better than what it was in the last three appointments. She said that the, ma that the magnesium is what lowers it's uh, 2 38 a.m. they just moved me to labor and delivery because the Kerrigan's heart rate was dropping during contractions I'm a lot more comfortable now they had to give me oxygen but everything seems to be going fine now it's just a waiting game so I may try to get some sleep because today has been crazy. Um, I just got an epidural and they started the Pitocin. I'm talking to the camera, Michael. <laughs> oh, my vision is so blurry. Um, so I wasn't planning on getting an epidural, but I'm a big baby, apparently. So they did that, and then um, they started the Pitocin, and she checked me before she started that, and I'm four centimeters dilated. Um, and I haven't slept all night, so I think I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Because I feel like crap. I feel like a big old baby right now. But they gave me some ice chips, so I'm really happy about that. Um, my eyes look like they're crossing, so. I'll keep you up with <laughs> it. Oh, a good drunk. Hey, Sweet Sounds 
Okay guys, so it's been about, this has been the magic hour, and uh, it's about over. How'd the C-section go? You feeling okay? I'm tired. <laughs> but besides that, I mean you haven't had anything to eat, drink, or sleep really in the past 24, 30, oh over 30 hours. Oh my god. So. So hungry. Ooh, eat girl, you got long hair. That already, didn't she? <laughs> okay, guys, so the first night's over. It's almost 9 o'clock the next day. She did pretty good. She didn't really do much crying. And she hasn't really pooped much either, but, you know, she, she's doing a lot of sleeping. Um, she'll, she won't eat much, but we don't know why that is yet, but she has been eating a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're getting her some actual food finally. Yesterday, she tried to eat while taking a bunch of morphine near the same time and uh, threw up, ripped her IV out, there's blood everywhere. I wasn't here for that, but I heard about it. <laughs> okay, guys, it's uh, 4.15. It's been a while since an update. A lot has happened. We got the hearing screen certificate, and she did great. Both ears are working great. Um, we got our birth certificate, you know. Got everything signed. Kerrigan, Lucille. I did it. Yeah. So her hearing, she did, she did do the poop, so that was great. Got to change that. Um, Mom, you feeling better? A little bit. The, scar, the cut still hurts like crazy. Everything's everything's going pretty good though. And slowly everything. She's being a really good baby. She hasn't been crying much. You know, even when I was changing her diaper, she was just letting me do my thing. And she's just been really great. We're, we're very lucky. And... Yeah. Yeah. So we're finally getting discharged. He's got to go get the car. Kerrigan's ready. We're ready. We're ready to get home.